So now we're going to do the urogenital system of the shark only. Um, I have both a female and a male here. The first thing I want you guys to notice, the best way to uh, determine whether the shark you're looking at is a male or a female, first off is to look at the size and whether or not they have claspers. So the male shark has claspers, see them down here, but the male shark is also significantly smaller than the female. So here's the large female right here, and this is the tiny dog uh, fish shark male. So he's much smaller. Now if we look at the male reproductive system, here's the testy. It's very smooth in texture. This is where sperm is being produced. This is also where testosterone is being produced and the testosterone is nourishing that sperm. Now up here, here's the epididymis. It sits on top of the testy, uh, at least in sharks, not necessarily in um, mud puppies. Mud puppies are a little different, but it also sits on the surface of the testy in cats as well. So this is where sperm is being stored and the sperm is maturing. Now, when the sperm is about to get ejaculated, it goes through what's called the vas deferens. So these little squigglies here, this is the vas deferens. Okay, so the sperm is being transported through the vas deferens, and in the case of the shark, it's gonna be ejaculated through the cloaca, and it's gonna be siphoned into the female's cloaca. Okay, now one thing I want you guys to know is that the male reproductive system is highly associated with the kidney. So if you actually run down and follow the vas deferens, the kidney is down in here. So is the seminal vesicle, but I can never get a good seminal vesicle. I wonder if I can get one in here. Okay. Yeah, so this is actually the seminal vesicle right in here. This is the seminal vesicle right here. And it's actually sitting above and on top of the kidney. Um, you can actually separate them, but that's a little difficult to do without creating a mess, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, but the seminal, seminal vesicles where semen is being created, right? And the semen nourishes that sperm and it neutralizes any acidity of the female reproductive parts, okay? <laughs> All right, the female reproductive system in sharks starts with the ovaries. So here's the ovaries right here. Notice their texture, they're a little more bumpy. They're not nearly as smooth as the male, uh, male testy. And notice that it's actually a lot bigger as well. So what's happening is in these ovaries, there are follicles that are maturing until you get a mature graphene follicle, which erupts from the ovaries. And in the shark, at least, the follicle actually gets taken up through this, this ostium right here, okay? This opening or orifice. And then the egg runs down into the oviduct so here's the oviduct right here. The shell gland is actually right in here, right behind the ovary. It's right in here, okay? And so the shell gland is secreting components of a shell that's going to envelope the zygote. This is where the zygote matures. This is where the yolk uh, forms to nourish the developing zygote, okay? So it runs down the fallopian tube or oviduct. And remember that in female sharks, there are two uteri. This is one of those uteri, and then the other is right here, okay? So the shark has two uteri. This female was pregnant, and we already removed the baby, so that's why they're a little deflated. But there are two uteri, okay? 